Peace, peace, everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. Jelly Bean Killer here. Appreciate you guys coming through to the video. Today, I'm trying out the new Trickster, quote unquote new, because as you guys know, he's gotten a release within the last, I think, week or two. And he feels really good. And I wanted to test out. Obviously, you guys know I play on PS5. I wanted to see how good he really is on controller. Now, this is controversial because some people say he's not good. It was a nerf. But for controller players, as you'll see, I definitely think it was a buff for us. As you see the perks I'm running, Bamboozle, Scourge, Hook, Sloppy Butcher to slow down their healing, and Barbecue. I do have the second game where I do switch up my perks, so watch out for that. But basically, he throws knives at a slower rate. He has no recoil when he throws the knives. He's just as fast as a normal M1 killer now. He's not a 110 anymore. He's 115, just like your Trapper, just like your your Legion. He's, he's not like slow as, as any other range killer. They made him fast as a normal killer. And now his main event can be triggered by hitting a certain amount of knives in a row on survivors. And you can trigger your main event multiple times in one game. It's not like a one-time thing, and then it takes 20 minutes to get it back. So you guys will see here, this is my first attempt of me using it. Um, I find somebody here, and... Right here, you can see like the throws, like my camera's not shaking after the throw. They took away the recoil completely. Like it's no recoil. I'm just, obviously I'm just missing my knives, but it's no recoil whatsoever when you throw the knives. And if you take your time, like I was doing here, you can hit them. Now, one thing I will say that I noticed, it takes eight knives now to hit. And I think before it was less than that to hit right here I have my main event so I decided to just use it I'm gonna try to use my abilities as much as possible as well as try to win the game you know have a little bit of balance where I'm not just in one like and doing nothing but in one as you can see right here when you do do your main event just like before you know obviously you still got to get a right angle so I end up just putting them down with the M1 and uh yeah they didn't waste any time getting the gym done while I was doing that chase which I didn't think that chase was that slow I found him pretty fast but as you can see he starts killing himself on hook i don't know if he was mad because i you know killed him or what but yeah we end up finding meg and uh this is not a bad map for trickster just because he's got all the windows are not that safe against him like you can turn corners on this map when you go through a window but usually the killer can just follow you through a doorway that's right next to the window that they go through you know what i'm saying like it's no op windows where they just besides this one right here where they just jump through and you got to go a long way around other most of the windows it's just attached to like a door that you can just walk through but for the most part trickster feels super good um this game right here i was really feeling the speed of his movement like his movement being normal speed now is huge because you can get those extra knife hits in, those better angles because of his speed. And on top of that, people actually have to worry about getting hit with the bat now. As you guys see, I got that back skin. That junk is nasty. Got the cobra wrapped around it. But yeah, now you got to worry about actually, Trickster can actually catch up to you and just smack you upside the head. So now it's like a mind game kind of thing where it's like, is he going to knife me or is he just going to hit me with M1, you know what I'm saying? So I think it's a nice little mix of both. So when people throw pallets down in your face, you can hit it with a couple of knives and get a couple free hits. If they vault in your face, you can get a couple free hits. And once you get the aim down, I think Trickster is gonna be up there for controller. Now, obviously when you're going against good survivors, he's gonna be just like any other killer in regards to like if the survivors are good and they stay spread apart and they just do gens, then obviously, you know, you're going to have to have the right perk combination in order to just stop good survivors. That's just with any killer. But with Trickster, though, when, he, when I say he's the most fun I've had in a while playing this game, I had a lot of fun playing Chucky. But Trickster, like, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> it's like I'm missing a lot of them. But the ones when you start hitting right there, I was literally like two knives away from getting him, too. It's like when you start hitting, bro. It's crazy because it feels so satisfying to hit people with them right here. I got a couple of knives left that I didn't use before main event, but I ran out sadly. And uh, this guy was giving me a little bit of a hard time. For whatever reason, she was coming over. They probably would have um, done a lot better if they weren't trying to be too altruistic, but I think they were a little confident as they should be because as you can see, they're down on one gen. I only got three hooks. 
but I was able to make a little comeback. I know we got Meg on de death hook, so you guys already know we got to target her if she gets off the hook. We see Fang over here. I have not hooked her one single time, so she's a little confident because she knows she's only been hooked once. But uh, this game went pretty fast just because they were doing Jen so fast. They were crunching them out, and I didn't have pop, so I wasn't doing a very good job of like going to Jen's and Jen protecting because every time I tried to go to a gen, I would just run into somebody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I just couldn't help myself. Versus if I'm focused and locked in, obviously I'm just gonna be going to check gens, going to kick gens, pushing pushing survivors off gens right here. I hear the fang. I was looking for the other injured, um, or not the injured, I was looking for the stuntman because I knew I had him on death hook, I'm pretty sure. I was looking for him, but I ended up finding Fang and we got her on the hook. And then I see all these scratch marks. I got two people over here, haven't seen her all game long. I immediately dropped Chase just cause you know, I haven't seen her, I haven't hooked her one single time. She's been hiding it. And I go for somebody who's injured, see if I can get somebody out the game real quick. Luckily we are able to find the Meg. She's dead on hook. And then we got the Fang, who's always hanging around. Like I said, you, you guys know if you play Killer, when you have one gen left and you haven't re really been doing the best at keeping them off gens, the survivors get super altruistic because they're like, well, this game's in the bag. We already got down one. We got one gen left. Let's just try to get everybody saved. Let's just do all the save and save, 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 save. And as you know, that's a mistake. I love when survivors start doing that because I'm like, okay, they're just buying me time <laughs> at this point. Cause like, obviously if they just go work on the chin, you know, I'm killing Meg, she's dead. If they were just on the gen right now, they probably pop it right now um, a little bit faster than what they did and probably would have gotten a chance for everybody to escape. But because they were all running around, nobody's doing the gen right now. Um, I'm able to find some more people right here did a nice nice little fake on her and then i doubled again then another little baby moonwalk and i was able to get her to hesitate because with the moonwalk remember you don't you're not trying to perfectly fake them and make them run right into you with the moonwalk you just want them to stop you want them to hesitate just give you the time to get the get the lunge in you know what i'm saying so right here did a good job uh for whatever reason this team like i said before they're being super altruistic as they should but they were doing hooks like i would hook someone and they would unhook within like 10 seconds like i had to walk away from the hook for 10 seconds and then boom they're taking them off hook again i'm like yo they're not even waiting to get out my terror radius before that is disrespectful so you know i gotta punish them luckily that time i didn't go for the alien girl i, for, I forget her i always call her the alien girl because i don't remember her character's name but right here once again a nice little fake right here He's out of the game, and as you guys can see, they still have yet to finish the last gen. All this altruism, all this running around, it's costing them. And uh, I'm loving it, because I know right now we got at least a draw. So if both of them were to escape right now, at least a draw. But because I know where they just finished this last gen, I know for a fact that I should be able to come out of here with three people, at least three people. So right here, I'm looking, following scratch marks for the person who just completed this last gen. I heard her, the fang right here. And I figured she was in the snowman just because I didn't see any lockers around. And I did hear her um, make like a little. I don't know if the characters make like a little sound. If you guys notice that, comment below. Do they make a sound when they jump in the snowman? Because I did hear Fang do like a little grunt. And that's how I kind of figured she was in the snowman. And it was kind of obvious the snowman was the only thing over there. But right here, I figured I'd get her down with the main event. Just to show it off a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to keep it. Like I told you guys, I just wanted to use it as much as possible just so I could start practicing with it and get control of it. But as you guys can see, it's so it feels so good when you hit it. Like it feels so good when you get somebody with the main event. And then right here, the last girl, she does have a hatch and she does end up escaping in the hatch. And I'm gonna show you guys this next game in the Pale Rose where I get a team in basement and basement trickster is still a thing so you everyone who played trickster before you don't have to worry that's still a thing you can still do go crazy with your main event and i'm gonna go show you guys a really good example of that this game um <clears throat> this team right here once again did the same thing as the other team playing super altruistic right away we find the steve i'm able to get an m1 on him i go for an m1 because just because it's jungle gym is a little bit kind of weird to throw knives around i felt like i thought he was going to take a window vault right here i do a little moonwalk make it look like i'm going the other way 
and he cuts back super early he could have just pulled wide just to be safe but he ended up cutting back because he thought i was you know still going that way but um get him on a hook and then i come over to the boat able to find david looking snazzy with his uh with his shirt on and then we see steve crouching in the corner i don't Bro, at least crouch in the bush. You know what I'm saying? Why is this man crouching out in the open? He does do a nice stun right here because he crouched behind the pallet. I couldn't see him. Uh, we get rid of a really good pallet though, so that's really good for us. Go back and kick the gym with Pop. As you see this game, I'm running No Way Out and Pop, so I did switch up my perks like I told you guys earlier. We do have our main event, but to keep in mind, that's one thing about the main event. If you notice, every time I get the main event on the bottom left, watch that red bar. When it runs out, I lose the main event. So you could just throw the main event out just to not waste it. But obviously, that's a waste of time if you don't have any survivors nearby. Right here, we find David out in the open. And one thing we all know old Trickster was good at, and this new Trickster is still good at, is when you catch somebody out in the open, it's automatic injury and death. Um, we were able to hit him in the back, get him nice and injured, and then we were able to finish up with M1. Here, I hear Steve somewhere. I have no idea who he is. I try to pick up, and yeah, easy palisade. You would think <laughs> this man completely blows the timing. <laughs> and then, like I told you guys, these guys, like, don't do this against range killers, guys. <laughs> Any survivors? Uh, she cl clicks her flashlight at me, which I thought was pretty funny. Watch the next play she makes. Uh, we get our knives. Um, but yeah, range killers are really good in basement because you know the the range attacks yeah she clicked her flashlight and then she did that she jumped down right in front of me she panicked bolted the window jumped down right in front of me steve coming down for the save trying to save right in my face i'm like what is going on here and of course you guys already know what i'm about to do i gotta do it i gotta do it we got three people all trying to come up the step on me no sir no sir <laughs> No, ma'am. She just stands there. She's just like, you know what, whatever. And then she changes her mind, I guess. She goes down. Steve's trying to heal this man right in my face. Like, what is going on? I swear my MMR is not bad, guys. I swear it's not. <laughs> you know, sometimes you just have some of those games where it's just like, hey, you just get, sometimes you get cooked. And then sometimes you get survivors like this. But yeah, we were able to get everybody, all three of them on basement hook and kill them, two of them. Um, Steve just died on the hook. The last guy that's alive, he never came back over there. He was like, F that. And then the first guy that was on hook, David, he had, he just killed himself on hook. And then right here, she's killing herself on hook. And then he goes in the basement to actually try to save her. And yeah, you, yeah. <laughs> he actually tried to save her and then she just merged herself on hook. So yeah, that's GG's, man. But yeah, as you guys can see, Tristan is a lot, a lot of fun you guys are probably going to see be seeing a lot more controller trickster from me on this video so if you like that make sure you hit the like button make sure you subscribe um go check out my last chucky video i think you guys if you guys like chucky on controller make sure you go check the, check out that video and the comeback video i did with him i hope you guys enjoyed this video man peace out